Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. I am following on with the epoxy resin ocean themed video tonight and I hope you love this one. I am stripping it back. I'm taking away all of this fancy schmancy and we are going for real simple, easy to create epoxy resin ocean coasters. Of course, I have added in a little teeny tiny shark detail, but this is optional. Cannot wait to show you these guys. I hope you enjoy. I am using laser cut wooden rounds for my coasters. Now, I purchased these myself from the incredible Moray Lothian Woodworks. Now, he has already featured in my videos before because I love what he can do with the laser machine and it's just really handy with resin as well. So they come in a pack of 12 I think, don't quote me, it might be 10, 10 or 12 and I will link the details down below. They are perfect coaster size measuring just under 10 centimeters. The first thing I'm going to do is back four. So I'm only making four but I'm going to back them in the trusted frog tape. This honestly not sponsored, they should sponsor me. <laughs> no, it really is the best for wood if you're using resin and wood. Now, this is the exciting part. Look at these. These are, listen, I honestly fell in love with these. Again, they are from Moray. Tiny, diddy, miniature ocean creatures. And I absolutely fell in love with them. Had to have them. And luckily, um, I was a tad obsessed. I went and bought the next size up. Luckily, they came in time for me to be able to slot them into this video. And I bought the big ones. These are measuring around two inches in length. And I, yeah, it'll have to be a next summer project, but I cannot wait to use them for bigger projects. And you can use them as stencils. You could draw around them or even create jewelry. Oh, a shark necklace. Anyway, I'm getting carried away. So after I peeled the back off, I peeled from the front just so I could pop them out, thinking I'd have to pop them out, and they all just flew out on the tape like this. I don't know why, little things like this just make me happy, because <laughs> it just saved me such a job. How adorable are these? I was, oh, honestly, you know when you find something so cute and you just kind of stare, look at this little crab. Anyway, listen, this is what I'm using in today's video. I'm going to be safe. I'm going to keep them on the tape so that I don't lose them. And I'm going to put them in a plastic bag. But yeah, how cute. It's, they're just cute. It's just cuteness overload. The first thing I'm going to do is paint all of the four sharks. Now, I'm only painting the tops because the bottoms are going to be covered in super glue completely to be stuck down. But I'm just making sure that A, they're sealed. And the resin won't make them warp. The resin won't distort them in any way. But I also want them to be a black silhouette of a shark. So I'm just making sure I get into all of the nooks and crannies with standard black acrylic paint. This is where the simplicity of this project comes into play. I am going to paint the boards using acrylic paint. I've got some Windsor and Newton here, but most of my acrylic paint is the cheaper brand from Hobbycraft, like the, this one here is about two pounds, one pound fifty a, a tube. Um, and some of this is from the works, is two pounds a tube. So it doesn't have to be expensive. And this acrylic paint is not only going to seal the wood. If you're using resin and wood, I've said it in previous videos, you really want to seal that wood, otherwise the resin will seep into it, potentially warp it, distort it, and do things you don't want it to do. This is, I just love this method. Now, if you've seen previous videos, I've often got comments saying, wow, even just painting the board was enough. You didn't even have to do anything on top. And that really is what inspired this video because it's so true. And really just painting these boards with these blues and blending them out with an ocean style color scheme, you've got yourself a ready-made ocean. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do to these boards is use the acrylic paint on the base, A, as the base coat, and B, to seal the wood completely. You just want to possibly just do it a little bit neater than me because <laughs> I do go back and forth to blend this out. I used way too much paint, as I always do, guys. But, you know, go back in, blend it out as much as you want. You could blend it even more than I did. I went back in with some light colour here tried to re-blend it. I kind of got it 
exactly how I liked it but they didn't all come out perfectly gorgeous the way this one did but again you could just do it until you're happy whatever color scheme you want even and automatically you've got yourself an ocean so what I did then was I made sure that all of the edges were also coated in paint because I didn't want the resin to get into the edges once they had dried I went in with these gorgeous tiny sharks and I coated the backs completely I'm only it stuck to my finger but we won't talk about that I coated the back completely with my Gorilla Glue super glue and I stuck them down and there you have your ocean even just the hint of that shark tells you it is an ocean and I just really think I just love I just love the simplicity of these I left those sharks to dry for around about two hours didn't need that long but I did I've got my clear resin and this is where your epoxy resin coasters easy method ocean comes to life because this is it you just put a clear coat of resin over the top and you have yourself epoxy resin ocean coasters so these will be flood coated so I'm just pouring a small amount at first I'm using my heat gun here mainly to get rid of the air bubbles I, I did get a lot of air bubbles in this resin as I was stirring it purely because I was stirring too fast and yeah impatience <laughs> it's a terrible trait to have but I'm just pouring a little bit going in with my heat tool coming back in after pouring a bit more going in with my heat tool and again this is a flood coat so there will be some going off the edge save your spill off if if you'd like to create something with it later on and that is the simplicity of these coasters it could not be any easier this is particularly great if you are new to resin or if like I said at the beginning if oceans intimidate you I am in love with these at this point now these sharks are around about I want to say half a mil deep now they do protrude through the top of the resin so what you could do if you wanted to is put in a second coat but I have tried and tested and they do not hinder the use of the coaster they don't make the glass um, tilt they don't make your mug tilt they still do the job they're just ever so slightly protruding through the surface and I kind of like that if you wanted to you could add a little splash around them but honestly I love these right now I love them let me know your thoughts at this stage and for me it really is the silhouette of the shark that makes them oceans you know if you put maybe a silhouette of a cloud or an aeroplane or a bird oh my gosh that that would be sky you know you could just make them anything you wanted and here they are completely dry I'm back with these <laughs> long nails that I could barely do anything with to actually take the backings off and the backs came away like a dream and at this stage you can finish the backs however you wish you could even paint them in a blue if you wanted to but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some cork bases now these are already cork coasters I think I got these from the works I cannot be a hundred percent sure maybe the range and all I'm going to do is coat the backs in that Gorilla Glue super glue and stick these cork coasters down they act as the perfect backing for the wooden coasters they are a tad bigger than the wood which is great you can then just use your scissors to cut them down and it worked really really well and I just went ahead and did all four and this is what they look like on the back I think it looks really smart it smartens them up completes them as a project and yeah I really honestly love them I was also toying with the idea of putting maybe a an ocean quote on them you like a little cricket vinyl ocean quote again that is something you could do if you fancied it I'm probably not going to <laughs> because you know the video is done now but I really did enjoy making these I think they're just the most simple way to create an ocean look with epoxy resin and it yeah couldn't get any easier let me know what you think and if you've really enjoyed this please do let me know in the comments down below don't forget to like subscribe if you like what you see and I will see you all in the next video bye